Hello and welcome to another episode of 3D Paint. If you didn't see the last video I did where I put her together with magnets and I showed you how to set that up, really nice technique, especially if you got large models and you don't want to really glue them or you may have to move them, it's nice to have magnets on them in some aspects. Well, I have a 3D print done. I got a little more finishing work to do, but I want to start spraying some of the parts to kind of get him together and kind of refine what I have left to clean up. What I'm going to do today, in order to see that, it's easier just to prime it. He has magnets as well. I have a little holder and I'm going to use that to hold his head on this, which I actually have two pieces on there already, which probably need a clear coat of Rogue that I'm still working on. And yes, I do work on multiple projects at once. Basically, whatever I'm in the mood to do at the time or in between my spare time. So I like using Rust-Oleum products. The primer I'm going to be using on the head and all the rest of the parts that were done with resin 3D printer, I am going to use a flat primer gray. That's what I like to use. Either gray or white, depending on how I want the colors to show up. If it really bright colors, I go with a white. If it's more of a darkish thing like Batman, I go with a gray. And now I did mention these need a clear coat, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and clear coat these as well. They're basically done for Rogue. And on the clear coats, I use a matte clear coat 2X Rust-Oleum. I know some people don't like using this stuff. It's worked in the past for me so well that that's the way I like it. And this can come off a little glossy sometimes. You just gotta mist it instead of spraying it heavy. So as much as you spray this, that's how you will get your finished piece. Now for the cape is actually FDM. So it does show layer lines and it is going to be, as I knock stuff off, it is gonna be a little challenge to get that a little smoother. And I am going to use Rust-Oleum's Primer 2-in-1 Sander Filler. So this will fill it and sand it. I'll do a couple coats on this and then I'll gently sand it to kind of get the layer lines down a little bit. I am going to do a little sanding beforehand on this and what I'll use is 250 grid sandpaper and just get some of the high spots. But this did print out really nice to where I won't have to do too much and possibly use a little Bondo to fill it. I am using Bondo to fill this because this was a misprint. It didn't finish printing the base and it was only at the end and it was just the top. So I'm going just primer filler in that but real simple you just sand that down a little bit you want to get rid of some of the layer lines and that's all you do i don't go too crazy with this i just knock it down and then i go ahead with the primer filler because that'll really fill in a lot of the gaps and then i can go ahead and finish this piece off and I went with this with the cape not only because at the time I did not have a giant resin 3d printer I also wanted it to be strong because I'm a klutz so I didn't want it to get too messed up you know and knock into stuff as you can see I knocked off his hand but the rest of this stuff I'm gonna just go ahead with alligator clip kind of things and we'll just kind of snap them make sure they're holding it pretty well maybe a little bit more at an angle and it's just it's a perfect kind of holder so i could spray it get it all nice and done and i'm going to do this outside read the instructions on the can guys you want dry conditions you want 70 and 50 degrees 10 minutes to the touch you want to add another coat within an hour and then you want to let before you're going to work on these you got to let it dry so so we want to read the directions and basically it says on the back here it has to be at least 70 degrees outside and 50 percent relative humidity so you can't go above 50%. So we're going to try and make sure that, you know, it's not that humid outside. Luckily, it is a nice spring day, and that's why I decided to do this today. Clean up these prints and get some primer on them so that way I know where to go from here. I'll leave a link in the description. I don't have any affiliate links, but I'll leave a dis link in the description of this thing. It's a great little pegboard that holds these alligator clips so that way you can just go ahead and place all this stuff in here and spray it and get it all nice and neat. You can even separate it a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and put all of his parts on here. All right, so what I like to do with these pieces is First, I'm going to take some water, give it a spritz, take a paper towel and wipe it down, just like so. Sorry, I got a lot of stuff on this right now. And you're going to make sure it's really dry before you spray this. Now, with this particular one, there's nothing really to clip to it or anything. And I like to use these like little things that I made out of hangers. And I just go in here and kind of scoop inside the holes that we made and use them basically to hold it that's just some of the pegs inside there and i just hold it like this and then i have a place that i hang it after i'm done these are all the hanging pieces cleaned ready to go and get sprayed and these are all the floating pieces that we're going to go ahead and spray just wait for them to dry and we'll go ahead and do that <laughs>
finished pieces. Primed and ready to be touched up a little bit more. And that's it.